Alright guys, in today's video I've got here my Galaxy S4 and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use an app called SafeStrap and it should be right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use it to install a custom ROM on your device um, so this is going to be specifically for the Verizon uh, Galaxy S4 so let me go ahead and go into settings about phone and I just want to show you this build number right here okay this is going to be the key for this device now SafeStrap was really really made for ME7 uh, which is the uh, build number ME7 last three digits right down there um, is what it was designed for if you have MDK build you can do Loki hack and a different way of doing recovery you can also use SafeStrap though it works on both um, so I'm going to show you right here, I have MDK right there, but if you have the ME7 build, you want to use SafeStrap, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use it to install a custom ROM. So what we're going to do is, first of all, go in here to SafeStrap, and let me just go over it right now. There is a new version of it, which is 3.6. Um, and that's what I'm going to be running right here. You can also use the older version, 3.5.4, I think. Um, and it should also work for you. Go ahead and make sure you have it installed. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you are going to need root access. You are going to need SafeStrap or custom recovery installed. And like I said, ME7 or MDK ROM base. And once you get it installed, and I have a video on it also, if you want to check that out, I'll try to put in the video description on how to set up SafeStrap. So we should have it set up, so we're going to go ahead and do a reboot recovery. And what you're going to do is this thing is going to go ahead and reboot into uh, safe strap mode. Safe strap is based on Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. So very nice uh, recovery system. Like I said, safe strap specifically though is made by a developer named Hashcode, who's done awesome stuff with safe strap for the Motorola devices and now has brought it here to the Samsung devices. So let's go ahead and one of our most important things you want to note is your battery level. You want to make sure that thing is very, very uh, set up nicely with a good battery level. And you want to note your system right up here. It says ROM slot stock. So that's important. The other things you're going to want to notice is these are in red because right now if you flash something, it's going to go and wipe out the stock system and you don't want to do that. That's part of the beauty of this. You don't actually mess up the stock system you only create another system and then you pick which one you boot to which is very cool so we're gonna go into boot options and we're gonna go it should be a screen like this so you can see the stock ROM is selected right here so that means if you reboot the device it's gonna boot that ROM but we're gonna create another ROM slot and I'm gonna create it with one gig you can pick what you have based on your free space it says I have six gigs of free space right there says this is going to take up four gigs basically so I'm going to create this ROM slot and it's going to take a little bit probably up to 10 minutes to create this ROM slot so we're going to come back to when it's done okay so our ROM slot has now been created and the next thing we're going to do is just notice that it's in green here and notice that your lettering up here is also in green telling you what ROM slot you're on so we're going to do is we're going to click that ROM slot and we're going to set a nickname for it well, the ROM I'm going to install is called Hyperdrive, so I'm just going to call it Hyperdrive. Just type this in, and hit go, and then you can hit back, and you can see your ROM slot now, instead of saying ROM slot 1, is now called Hyperdrive. Um, so that's very important, you can go back now, and it still should say ROM slot 1 at the top, which means you're good to go on that. And now we're going to go to the install process. So what we're going to do is go to actually go to wipes first. Well, let me rephrase this. You're in a ROM slot. You can do a backup of your stock system if you want by going here and activating this one. And do a backup right here if you want. Do an Androids and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to mess with that. You don't technically need it um, as long as you don't flash anything to the stock system. So we're in slot one there. And we're going to go to wipes. And we're going to go to advanced and we're just going to wipe um, all of these things 
system, cache, data, and Delvic. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and flash that. Now, because you just created this ROM slot, you technically don't have to do this step because they're all brand new anyway, but it's just good to do it. So we're going to go to install. We're going to find the file I'm going to write, flash, which is this hyperdrive right there. Uh, RLS9.1S4 final zip. And we're going to go ahead and slide across to flash it. Um, so now, what's going to happen here is this thing uses Aroma Installer, if I'm not mistaken, and it's going to open up and we're going to go through all the Aroma Installer settings and setup. Um, so here we go. And there's a lot of options in here to use and features. Um, so it's very important that we just kind of go through it carefully. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next. And hit Next. Sorry, you got to agree to the terms and conditions. Hit Next. Hit Next. And then you want to run full install system information backups. You want to do the run full install. Um, it says wipe cache or effect reset. We'll just do the wipe cache one for right now. You could, yeah, well, well wipe cache and Delvic. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then it says Verizon S4 or other S4s for T Mobile ATT. Well, I'm on Verizon, so we're going to pick that. Hyperdriver, you pick your launcher. We'll do that. This is auto checked already a bunch of things, um, apps that are going to install. I don't want that one. And we'll check those. Here's a bunch of auto ones too. I'm just going to go with what they already have uh, picked actually. Hit next. Some AccuWeather things and things like that. I like the transparent one. And then we'll go next. This is also auto picked for you. Um, and I'm just going to go with what it's got also. Everything there looks pretty good. So hit next. Add blocking, I am going to go with, uh, no, all that actually, full extended power menu. Yeah, I'll go with that also. And then we're going to hit next. File manager, yep, that actually looks perfect. Next. Gmail, da da da. Oh, yeah, wow, this is actually really good. Everything I got right through there is all really nice. Um, AOSP, actually, yeah, choose. I'll choose that one. Um, the rest of them, focal camera, might as well do that one also. Hit next. Some sound stuff, I'm not going to mess with any of that. Some music player, Samsung's fine. Android keyboard is what I like. I'll do Adobe. Um, terminals on there. Yep, that looks good. Stock, stock optimized kernel is fine. And then you hit next. And this is going to go through the install of everything you picked and options you chose and it should install here. Hopefully not take too long and then we have one last very important step before you reboot this device so when this finishes installing I'm going to come back to it and we'll show you guys the last important step. As you guys can see here's a bunch of the stuff that's installed um, all the options basically that you picked and it says it's done so we're going to hit next and now, uh, see, normally you'd say here, you'd hit reboot. I'm going to uncheck this. And um, quit installer. You see how I did that? Go back. Normally right here it says reboot, but I don't want to want to. I want to check that little box. And then I'm going to say quit installer. Yes. And it should go back here to safe strap. Okay, great. Now, the last trick. You're going to go back here. And... I'm still in installs, which is this button. And right here, I've got two modules. One says um, for MDK modules, and the other one says ME7 modules. So based on your stock system, whether it's MDK, which mine is, because I still have an updated ME7, or if you have ME7, use the ME7 ones. Um, so it's very important. So I'm going to do the MDK modules, make sure it's what's listed, and I'm going to go ahead and flash those. And now they're done, now I'm going to go ahead and reboot. So if you do not flash the modules, it may not boot correctly because it needs to match your stock system kernel. Um, the ROM needs to have those correct modules in them for it to boot and run and function correctly. Now, your phone's probably not going to have this custom thing. It's just because of stuff I've done to mine. Uh, so you shouldn't see that, but you should see the standard safe strap, and it should be in green, saying it's enabled, because you're on a stock ROM. If it's not in green, it means you did something to stock, and wouldn't recommend that, but uh, you should be in green. 
And what we should see here is a boot animation. Ooh, a new one. I haven't seen this. I like it. Um, so very important that you guys go ahead and let this thing boot up. Uh, possibly could take up to 10 minutes to boot. Shouldn't because it's an S-Floor. It should be pretty quicker, but it could take that long. Uh, then go through some settings. Then let everything sit once you go through the activation kind of stuff and setting up your Wi-Fi. Just let it sit. Turn it off after about 10 minutes. Reboot. And then go ahead and set up all your ROM. That should be the process. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you really quick once we reboot here. So I'll just give it a sec. Alright, here we go. This is Hyperdrive fully booted up. And uh, let's go ahead and just, I'm going to jump through this really quick. I just did a review on this pretty in depth for a Galaxy S3. Um, so I'm just going to go through it really quick. So here's all the applications that you guys picked or I picked on the install. Obviously you do have SuperSue for root, uh, managing your root applications. And here we go. Security stuff. Some features up here. You can pull it down that way, edit it around. Let's go into settings. And this all looks pretty standard. Let's go to uh, device. And right here you have hyperdrive ROM custom. And these two things are really nice because this one right here is an OTA update software. And you can go ahead and check for updates. And you can obviously look at some themes and stuff and download those right through this. So when there's a new update to this, it's all going to be right in it, which is really cool. Um, this is Hyperdrive Tweaks, and it customizes everything, man. Notifications, all kinds of sound stuff, exposed framework if you want it, and a ton of more features. Like I said, I'm not going to go into that a ton because I just did that in another S3 video. If you want to watch it, you can check it out. It really goes through this pretty well. Um, you have call and message blocking, which you can use. Standard stuff right through here. Accounts, and then standard stuff right through there. Um, so really the customization which is really cool with this device is in that uh, hyperdrive tweaks right through here. That's where it all, all the magic and fun happens with this uh, ROM. So everything that I've seen right now is fully functional except your Wi-Fi for some reason in this ROM is not working. I can't physically turn it on um, and I think that has to do with the modules we're using and something with SafeStrap. Uh, I did message Hashcode, and he's hopefully going to be working on that and figure that out for us. Maybe give you a new module, and then it'll function. So probably not a big deal, um, especially if you have like an unlimited plan or something like I do. Then you can use 4G as much as you want. So for me, not an issue. Um, be nice to have it functioning, but not an issue right now to run this. I, I, I'm actually going to probably stick with this for a little while because I have it on my S3, and I love it. So I'm going to check out Hyperdrive on the S4 and and uh, use it as my daily driver for a little bit I think here and, and uh, run this sucker. Alright guys that is it. That is the Galaxy S4 install of Hyperdrive ROM using SafeStrap. Hashcode's awesome awesome recovery system uh, installing Hyperdrive on your device. I hope this is informative. I hope you got a ton out of it and you guys can follow along very easily with me. As always check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com. It's my website. I'm adding stuff to it daily. And uh, you can follow me on the other side at Facebook or Twitter. That's it. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.